Let's talk about AI tools that make you the smartest person on this planet. So you've probably heard about the AI tool ChatGPT and there are tons of videos out there. And yes, you can use ChatGPT, of course, for education, but here are special AI tools. Here are special AI tools you can use today to become smarter for your academic writing, for your education. It doesn't matter if you are a student, it doesn't matter if you are a teacher, it doesn't matter if you just want to learn, those AI tools are here to help you. So let's get into it and take a look at special artificial intelligence tools for your learning success. The first AI tool we're gonna take a look at is the tool explain like I'm 5.io. And what this AI tool promises is that you can ask it anything and it explains it to you like you're five years old. Let's try it out. You can choose between sarcasm on or off. Let's leave sarcasm on. You can choose between all those languages. It's English, Arabic, Bengali, German. Let's stick with English. Let's keep pretty dumb and ask me to explain artificial intelligence. And this is the explanation. Artificial intelligence is like when you try to do something smart, but it's not as smart as you think it is. It's like a robot that tries to do things like humans, but it's not as good. Interesting. Let's try it out with pretty smart. And now it gets a longer text. Artificial intelligence is the latest craze that everyone seems to be talking about. It's a fancy way of saying that computers can do things that humans find difficult or time consuming. AI is used in a variety of applications from facial recognition software to self-driving cars. Basically, it's a way of making machines smarter than people. I like that a lot. So if you want to explain something to your children, if you are a teacher and need to explain a difficult subject, why don't you go to explain like I'm 5.io, check it out and see if it can help you with your teaching experience. If you are a teacher and you're preparing some questions for your student, then the next two tools might be something for you. That's quizgecko.com and it produces a quiz from your article. So what you can do is you can upload a file or you link to an URL or you copy and paste a text in here. I'll go with the URL and I want to have questions about this Wikipedia article on artificial intelligence which is a quite long article as you can see here. We have this long article here. Imagine this would be the things that people would have to learn and I want to ask now questions about it. I can choose multiple choice, true or false, short answer or fill in the blank. I choose multiple choice. I want it to be medium, leave the rest and I click on generate. And then it analyzes this website and it produces questions, multiple choice questions I could give out to my students now. Here we have this quiz. What is the traditional goal of AI research to generate general intelligence? Oops, that's wrong. To solve arbitrary problems, to understand natural language, to manipulate objects and it even shows you what is the right answer here. What was the result of the workshop held at Dartmouth College in 1956? I have no idea and this is the correct answer and it gives me all those questions just from one link to one article. So a really nice way to produce questions for your students actually to test them about some articles. You can export these questions afterwards. There is a free version and a paid version with more features. Check it out. Quiz gecko.com. Similar like this tool is the called yippity.io yippity, yippity Add your notes or any URL and yippity will generate a quiz automatically from them. Let's try the same article. And there we go. Here you have the quiz. Here you have the questions. What are some applications of artificial intelligence? What was the founding of artificial intelligence? What have been the waves of optimism in artificial intelligence? What is the church Turing thesis? And it also gives you the answers when you click on the i button here. So yippity.io is also a nice tool if you want to generate questions for your students with the help of artificial intelligence. Awesome. 
Let's take a look at academics and see how artificial intelligence can help you there. There is the tool called the Genai, Genai, and it promises that you can research faster with Genai. So what are the possibilities here? You can upload your documents and the AI will extract the most important information from these articles. It will extract keywords, it will give you an overview over the article, it will generate an abstract from this article, a summary, it will extract graphs, figures, tables and images and you can easily access this information and it will always know where the information came from and you can cite the right way. You restructure all the information and you can use also their rephrasing tool, their expansion tool. You write something and it expands the content you have just produced. Then it has some citation. You can choose what citation style you want to choose. This could really be a really useful tool for you if you are into academic writing, if you're writing a lot of papers. Check it out. The tool is called Genai.io. Quite similar to this tool is the tool scholarc.com. That's the AI powered article summarizer. What features does it have? It should save you hundreds of hours because it can identify key information. It analyzes data. It suggests background reading. It highlights important points in your papers. It creates a reference summary. It finds references. It can also extract tables and figures. So Scholar C, if you're an academic researcher, a journalist, a student, a librarian, check out Scholar C and it will help you with your papers. Site AI is going in a quite similar direction. You can discover with this platform scientific articles via smart citations. You have a research question and you want to find papers, this is the place to go. It's like GPT-3 for science. You can search citation statements and find experts with it. It shows you some nice graphs here as you can see. You can see all the related articles here on this graph. You can find all the journals here. So that's site.ai, a useful tool. If you are into academics, check it out tonight. Why tonight or today? <laughs> Semanticscholar.org is a free AI powered research tool for scientific literature. Let's try it. I wanna find something out about Immanuel Kant, for example. And it found over 1 million results for Immanuel Kant. It found, of course, his books. It found some articles. This is really an awesome tool. You can sort here by citation count, for example, how many times those articles have been cited, sort by the most influential. So that's semanticscholar.org, a search engine to find scientific literature, which is powered by artificial intelligence. I love it. Quillbot.com is another tool that helps you rephrase stuff. So if you're writing papers, if you want to get some inspiration, buy some other papers and you want to use this, you can use it. You just put in your text here and it will paraphrase this text. It has a grammar checker tool, for example, so you can check your grammar in English, in German. If you have a good grammar here, it has a plagiarism checker. It can scan your documents you have. If you have created a good article, maybe with the help of artificial intelligence, you can put your article in here and it will check for plagiarism. It has also a citation generator here. You have a summarizer. So check it out, quillbot.com, a useful tool which could enhance your academic writing or if you are a student in your class, could also help you with your homework. A similar tool is called Trinka.ai, which has also a lot of features for artificial intelligence where it can produce or it can enhance your grammar. It has a grammar checker. You have features like plagiarism check, autofile edit, a journal finder. So find the right journal to publish your paper. It is an AI that recommends your journal so you can find journals for your paper you have written. It checks if your manuscript is already ready for publication. It helps you edit your files. 
It gives your writing a professional touch by checking the consistency. Also a very nice tool, Trinker.ai. I'm always surprised what those AI tools are already capable of. Share this video now with a friend who might need it.